Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time for Byzantium or Byzantium? Byzantium? Which is apparently another storyline uh, mission. The Byzantium Laboratory was part of Colonel Hartson's top secret research project. He needs us to retrieve the data stored in the system. But the facility is currently occupied by a group of raiders, which of course we can't allow. So this time, good news. We do not uh, need to capture them alive. This is team number seven. So they are not really the best. Team number six, the uh, Foxtrot team. Let's see what we can do with them though. I think I was about to just level willpower. Plus two speed isn't bad either for 25 points that is not too bad because you don't get a uh, get a speed upgrade that cheap but i think what we would want to do with him is more damage so it's either a second class mark for death could be an option or alternatively more willpower which i think is the right play here so false fire goes into willpower we had this stupid Virus rifle. I don't know what to think about that one. Somehow not really convinced. Hmm. Yeah. We got the arachnoids alternatively. So. Isai could use some more willpower, I suppose. Or just decent weapons, and the PDWs would definitely uh, help him a lot. But instead of PD, uh, PDWs, could as well also spec into a second class. Hmm, difficult choice. Doesn't have enough hit points either, so hit points it is first. Same problem here. Character generally looks fine, and we have this uh, shredding shotgun, which is absolutely fantastic. Good, then we do have our typical Berserker problem, and I know we were saving for a new class here. Alternatively, assault rifle uh, proficiency with extra damage and extra accuracy. I'm not sure, I think I wanted that. Because that's as good as getting our... Uh, as getting our assault soldier, but on top of it we get more damage and more accuracy, so... That's actually not bad. Greta, you just won the lottery. And what I, what I would like to do here is use that and that and a little bit of that. Very good. We're, we can still definitely uh, benefit uh, from from an assault class but that little upgrade for assault rifles that was huge plus the accuracy uh, accuracy bonus together with the laser assault rifle will be good um this character looks still very random yeah i can see we were saving up for mind control and so on just trying to stay afloat and need some more hit points as well so yeah it's just trying to stay alive really uh, we had enough hit points that's okay carry weight and two strength not too bad i mean 
Now two strengths is almost as much as it would normally cost us, yeah. And on top of that we get extra carry weight. Two strength equals 200 more hit points, so might want to save that. Babor is just a very solid, um, really good um, rifle specialist with biochemist, uh, uh, not bad. Already has shotguns and melee weapons as well, so that, uh, well, melee weapons not yet. But yeah, we're looking for more hit points here. Yeah, oh, wow, and Polina, that's the bottom of the barrel. I need better aim. Uh, ouch, that's not good. I mean, camera grenade, not really good. Let's do the following. We'll at least trade it out for a really good purification grenade. Those aren't bad. I mean, even a complete like rookie with a purification grenade can do something meaningful. Let's go, guys. All right. So we landed. Just need to get the recorder up. And what better time to zip a good old uh, mug of tea and kill some enemies. Apparently we're fighting against bandits. Boy, I love bandits. They are the best. Typically are numerous and they can fight back. So it will be an interesting adventure. We got to steal research and get out of here. Move into here to steal the research. And this time we have a different angle on that entire uh, thing. So first, let's frenzy ourselves. Secondly, hmm. I would like to see what we're working, uh, what we're working with. A couple of enemies spotted. One, two, three, four. Four. Wow, lots of snipers. I don't like snipers. So we're staying back for now. Could try to jump up here. Here. That's not a bad idea. And let's see how many uh, we're going to hit. That's one, two. Okay, so they are mainly focused around this building. We're having a clear line of sight through here. All we need to do is we need to make sure that these snipers, those three, are having a terrible time. My problem with it is we do not necessarily have range superiority, if you know what I mean. Uh, we are very likely taking the short end of the stick here. Hmm. Mm. Not optimal. Could go into half cover. But will that really protect as well? That's a great question. Could also go for full cover over here. And then just shoot from there. I think that's not a bad idea. On my way. Rolling. Good use. I've got to focus. All of our willpower. Ah, too bad. It's not starting very well.
Good, we're moving up. I would like to place a turret sooner than later. The question is where, it, like over here was a good spot. This is not a very good spot. So I'm wondering if it might be more advisable to just push through and position ourselves underneath here, which these stairs I remember are not see-through and we could put a turret like literally to here and then take a couple of shots. What's the plan? Got a problem with this guy here for sure. Double time. We could double dash over here. Not a bad idea, actually. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, cool. So, On it. listen, both of them are only having two actions. I could get rid of the arm or Throwing something inside of a house is always a pain in the rear, really. That's one option. Okay, let's keep that option in mind for now. I, I mean, I don't need to rush it. Polina has grenades, so... She actually has no good difference. other alternative than a grenade. So I'm wondering, naturally, should we like lop in a grenade in here? What I'm hoping to get out of it is make the interior not worth their while. and basically seal off that area. Oh. That's not bad, that actually worked much better than I would have expected because now they can't just like move in to full cover and try to shoot us, right? That's the idea behind it. Can't wait. Moving up and moving into full cover. We've lost six will uh, willpower by uh, doing so. It's gotta be a bit careful, but it's all worth it. If we hit very well, which we of course do not. So that is a bit of a tragedy right there. Sniper is injured, but not yet killed. And we're taking another full cover position. Hitting the sniper, but unfortunately not killing it. Okay, moving into full cover. They have a full bastion over there, making it very, very difficult for us to do anything. Uh, next turn, I think I want to move here, drop the turret. Hopefully we can take it from there. Both of these guys cannot shoot because uh, they have three action point uh, weapons. This will take care of it. Let's go then. Oh no, oh no. We're being flanked. 
<clears throat> That's the worst that could have happened. And now they are starting to pepper us with shots. One again, not our kids. They can't scare me. Oh boy. Yep, it appears to me that the enemy definitely has a better position <clears throat> and the vast number superiority. Also, our little spider decoys are now gone. Keep going. <sighs> Keep going. Try again. Nice little return fire, that was good. I like it. Good, a couple of uh, things to begin with. Uh, we want to, in a perfect world, I need one action for war cry. Trying to hit as many of them as possible. One action potentially for shield if if we stand anywhere close here. And one action for the rockets to soften the enemy up. The biggest problems are snipers, so we're going to focus on them first. Oh! Only hit one, the other one slightly missed, which is a shame. Could move to here, which would give us full cover. Can't go all the way to full cover over here and shout, so we're just going to shout. Three with a war cry isn't the worst. Um, I equip the shield so that even with not using the shield, it just offers a lot of protection in case we're being hit. I'm ready. Hmm, careful. Careful, careful. I would like to take some of these guys out. That's not easy. Um, like I mentioned, we could start moving up and place the turret here and then push in. The other option is placing the turret actually like over here and then uh, having a clear line of sight. Almost no one here so that wouldn't work. Let's first of all try to get the snipers out. That guy could be a kill. Very good. Holding position. We're overwatching again. Now we don't have any induced panic, but what we can do is 
basically summon more expendable stuff. For now, double spider seemed like the right call. The other alternative would have been using his sniper uh, just to get someone panicked. Not a bad idea either, but I like um, our distraction play a bit more. Moving up with Friedrich to here, that would be an, a very aggressive position. But it would draw fire away from our sniper, which I think is more important at the moment. Plus, we'll get a good shot on their sniper. Make a difference. Good, listen, I mean, Polina could definitely charge in, that's not a question, uh, but it seems like a bit of a stupid maneuver to do that. I would much rather like to push forward here to then deal with the snipers. But we'll do uh, we'll do that in a second. Couple of things first. Number one, move in, shotgun. And that's a solid kill. Shotguns in melee are still good. I like them. Could place another fire bomb over here. And have the necessary actions to do all of it. I mean, look, we it's not cool to place the turret here. not what I originally wanted. But it would at least give us fire support along that lane, which isn't the worst idea either. <clears throat> see uh, not a great deal of options specifically that can is in the way couple of hits 35 uh, damage is really not that good could move up throw the grenade uh, and make them suffer and then essentially climb up here. Ah, there is no entrance, okay. Could also move up here. Uh, not the optimal cover. But I potentially could take out the sniper. Got a few heavies in range. Hmm. It's a very aggressive move. We've already taken a few shots. I like the idea of sealing off that section here. Could move all the way in, which would also only bring us to that sniper, but the guy could move up, so. He has a grenade as well. 
Will points at Windling. If I hit him one more time with our gun, uh, he would flee. I'm talking about like a good hit. So I could also move to here and just full hit. Uh, but then we are in the crossfire of two potential snipers. charge to here hit the sniper there but we're again in the crossfire this is really bad um, if I fall back we're going to lose this flank so as much as I like to burn this one down there might be new enemies spawning here so the fire might actually be the right call could move in throw the grenade could move out it's definitely an option let's try that it's not the most fancy play but let's it is now. one that could work can only Engaging. hit this guy once I could How many hits do we get? Uh, that's 40 times 4, uh, which is 4 more virus, and that would not be enough to uh, get him to fleeing. But placing big fat fire here actually will reduce their willingness to charge in. Matter. Uh, moving up. This we'll go into melee soon and clear out this room. In the meantime, full cover. And end of turn here. Oh, oh yeah, that, that actually was bad. I mean, they're now burning. was a waste of turn because he couldn't kill the spider. Uh oh, that on the other hand was actually quite uh, well done. We moved our entire cover. Clowns are just wasting their turns. Love it. So the only problem that I do have with all of the snipers is they are just noobs. The second one didn't really work out that well, but the first one actually did. <gasps> Fantastic. We... can move all the way to here and very much hit four, five, six people with a war cry. Fantastic. <clears throat> Great. Really good. Keep it together, operative. Crossfire heals themselves. 
Uh, and then takes another shot. We soon need a bit more help. Did we just remove the car? Wow. That's one of the strongest sniper rifles that I've seen in a while. You can simply shoot through the car. Could we could hit uh, this guy. Okay, fair enough. Moving up. Next turn we need to... Uh, we need to start uh, rebuffing. I'm here. Unfortunately, couldn't ch charge any further. Uh, that was the second sniper shot that was missing the enemy sniper. Not a good start. Going in. Polina could move to here. We'll think about that in a second. It's only the helmet. That guy, on the other hand, could take a full fledged hit. What was that? So, if we just slightly, ever so slightly, move back, I think medical care could be. Uh, could be applied to us. Uh, I got a couple of enemies to deal with on that side though. Moving. Very nice, that was a good hit. Uh, the guy is down to 35. Not a dead yet, but close to. Um, which kind of answers my question really. We want to push forward because this is an aggressive move and we want to deal with that guy. Um, sure. Moves up. Did you disable this person and we're moving in? Some healing and what's needed? Uh, I was under the impression we had some more healing. What the hell just happened? Oh, field medic takes two actions. Well, that is really unfortunate. Clear mistake from my end. Can't move up too far because that would open us up for a flank, but we can move into cover. Good, that takes care of the sniper. And that starts taking care of the other sniper. Ah, 
Uh, that turn wasn't wasn't great. What are we going to do with Barbara? And why exactly didn't it, did it even not heal them? They can't even move because we're stuck on that staircase and uh, Ishan is blocking them. So we're a sitting duck here. Hopefully there are no great lines of sight, but we can't even move out. So not optimal. Uh, the core idea was good, but I was... I was too focused on uh, repairing his limbs instead of just dealing with him right away. Oh, wow. W wow. That was the most idiotic move I've seen in a while. As long as they keep each other stable, I don't mind. It seems as if the fire is really luring them in to heal each other. They completely disregard the damage that they take whilst, uh, whilst being in the fire. You're going to get it now. I got this. Here we go. Good. All of them were war, uh, war cried, so a war scream. Oh. Problem is, we do not have a war scream this time, unless we're going to get ma magically some uh, some more willpower back. doesn't look right. Could get into cover, but that's not not good cover. Let's show them what we can do. Alright, rapid clearance. Let's see if that's a good uh, usage of our points, because... <laughs> Everybody from the enemy team uh, takes a minus on their will points. I wonder. We have like two enemies out here. That guy. If I could get a good. Uh, hit in right there aiming okay so if I can get a good hit in moving we're on the right track um, preparing to fire very nice oh he's cleaning house now Seventy. We could kill this guy. Just requires to be really close up. up a shot. Ah, <laughs> oh, the shotgun is is good. I like it. Um, Vincenzo has literally just killed three of them, and has single-handedly reinvigorated uh, this side. Okay, that's one. And two to get uh, him out of there. Now all we need to do is move a tiny, tiny, tiny bit uh, further away. Still open to here, but I think we're okay with our gun here. Okay, we got the few, first few that are panicking. Yes. Ah! 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 
trying to kill more because now you can see the uh, the panic starts to actually sink in as all of them realize oh no we effed up very good this guy will panic so we have him nicely infected by a virus that's another kill which means even more of them should lose uh, their uh, their shit we have two will points on this guy and four will points okay well we're doing not too bad keeping a very steady course there i would like to recover more will points over here All of these guys are panicked, which gives me the perfect excuse to shoot them right in the face. Almost dead. Uh, will die of hit point damage, so that's another kill right there. Vincenzo could use uh, the opportunity. push in deep into their snipers and uh, start getting them Moving down in. he so far has been the mvp of this particular mission really like what he had done did we disable one of the arms okay that sniper is useless then Good hits. Good hits all around. I am really pleased with how that uh, uh, turn turned out. Catching my breath. Just catching my breath. I need a moment. But if we can continue just killing more of uh, them as we go, we should actually be fine. Oh wow, more snipers are coming in. Oh. You hate to see it, right? Close, but not quite a hit. Out of curiosity, how many people could we affect? Not enough. So instead, what we're doing is we're moving over and do what is best for the team. And make a difference going in and what is best for the team is that everybody here specifically the melees have a faster movement speed here comes the phoenix there we go fantastic
Good. Let's move to the objective and start hacking it. Moving over here. Could hit everyone with the exception of uh, that bandit assault. I think I should still do that. And then we do have cover from this side, so I would cover in this direction. So that guy is dead. Just need to keep uh, the will point regeneration next to the war cry. That would be helpful. But before we do anything, let's see what else we can do here. I'm on my way. Uh, no. I was hoping that that would not happen. And we've officially disabled an arm, which means our sniper needs to move over here and get some intense physiotherapy. So that will reinvigorate his regeneration, so he's not completely useless. Should have done that first. Nope, that would not be a kill. Will points, three for that, five for rapid clearance. Could we kill someone? I don't think immediately, but we can get into a really good cover and this. use it next turn. Like I said, that unfortunately was not good enough. Ready to go to work. Could move up. Uh, could move to here and actually shoot this guy. Reinforcing this other flank. Aiming. That could be a solid kill, but he's dazed. Oh! And that's how you do ah! Okay, well. Got some return fire. The guy is burning and bleeding though, and has lost his head, so. Difficult for him to pull something off. <laughs> nice. Return fire is paying dividends. And now we do have more fear escalating.
That fire, uh, fire or incendiary bomb uh, keeps us very much in place. Not good. I think that's broken. And we need to move in as a as a team. Too little, up, uh, too little around the actual objective at the moment. We can't <gasps> withstand uh, the enemy forces uh, there. Um, just double checking. I think the right play here is to hide, get all of these guys warp right. And to protect ourselves. Ready? It is. Ready. I'm ready. So I don't want to move because that's going to cost us limbs, quite literally. This guy is taken out. Not sure, can we see the sniper? Sort of, but he's pretty far away. Trying to move up a bit more. Could deal with that bandit assault. I think that's not a bad idea. It's a hit, right? No. We hit the equipment. Unfortunate. Rejuvenating our sniper. Before then, charging forward to get to the rest of the team over here. Standing by. Let's interrupt the hack. We're not in the physical shape to continue the hack. So instead we're just moving away or being healed next turn. Um, Reloading. Free reload. Aiming. That kill will help to panic them. Yet again. And since all of them are panicked, I wonder should I just take over the hack or continue to bully our way through here? I think there is something to be said about just being a bully. Could push forward. So that next turn uh, we are in position to get these guys down. Could move to here, you know, and then essentially jump out and uh, take them into crossfire could move to here let's 
see, is there anything else we can do? No, Barbour is pretty plain vanilla and assault, as plain as it comes. Moving back into a better position, and let's see if False Fire can Trying to clear aim. up more of the battlefield. Heavy. How good is his angle on the sniper? Not sure, actually. Likely not great, to be honest. I've got to focus. Good. Next up, Vincent, who is uh, a bit under pressure, actually. Can't really move very well. Can't see either. Can't stomp. Can't really dash either because uh, uh, the damage, uh, it's not long enough of a range. Uh, currently onslaught not happening because no valid target in uh, reach but that could change well, because Here. his onslaught radius well, actually not too bad this guy here has not enough will points he will he will go down no pun intended Could move to here, take two shots on that sniper. I generally like the idea, it's plenty aggressive. This will induce more fear. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. I'm ready. Raider gets onslaught, and we are actually continuing with our onslaught parade here. Fully hit the arm, make it almost impossible for them to continue fighting. We can't heal burning, but look, I can be as annoying as possible. <clears throat> Ready? Ish. Good, that guy is now officially dead. <coughs> Unfortunately, the fire now extinguishes. I got the visual. Not there. I need a moment. Very well. He even did us a favor with that grenade. He did us a favor with that grenade because now he took uh, he took out some of the fire. So, what are we going to do? Ready to engage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not enough will points. How do I get a few more will points would be great. Well you get will points by killing stuff, right? That should straight up be a kill. Yeah, yeah. Almost. Do we have free reload? Shoot back. Yeah, Reloading. very good. 
This guy is effectively dead. He's... Yeah, he can't survive uh, that. And so... This guy is almost dead. And we could start moving in a bit further. Raider moves up. Finishes him. We need to reload. But yeah, enemy takes huge will losses yet again. Barbour begins to unload. Double unload. Uh, this guy has not enough will points to withstand this. Good. Reload. Um, field medic. Very well. Standing by. Moves up. Um, how about we are healing you with medkit? Oh my gosh, this is resource intense. Another sniper spotted. It's just getting better and better by the minute. This should daze the guy. Yep. And in a dazed scenario, he can't do anything. He just has one movement action and that's it. Okay, moving to the other side. What can we do over here? There is still a sniper. I somehow have my doubts that we can hit him. I've got to focus. There, I see. Didn't happen, which means we now need to try to hit the sniper. Ah, All right. That actually happened. Minus two will points for the entire enemy team, which isn't too bad. Okay, so what else? We got another sniper here, but he is in a really well defended position. Could get up here, basically follow the team on the low ground, and this is a good sniper position. Keep in mind we still have a sniper with our Psy operative. Which nicely brings us to Nick in the front line. Moves up, and next turn will be the relevant one uh, when we're basically just shouting to get all of uh, these guys uh, in there. Fortunately, Nick moved a bit too far, so he's not going to regain will points this turn. sure how he can hit us straight through the wall Here we go. Oh! Hmm. 
Not sure how that worked, uh, but I can tell you. We're definitely war crying everyone. It seems we're standing in the open, which I really dislike. Like, really dislike. That's a kill. Um, look, we need to push forward and hit everyone here. Good. <laughs> Frenzy needs to be kept up at all times. Mutton. Operative on the move. Okay. <clears throat> How many will power one more uh, one more kill and they will finally shatter okay that's a good hit. sure if we can hit anyone that's my problem here taking aim all right let's try our luck Hostile wound. good hit on the move. Moving a little bit further. All set. Holding position. Well, we could hit uh, them from here. But moving forward just ensures the hit. I'm surprised just how well Win uh, Vincento managed to kill everyone. These guys are now at zero will points. Moves back, puts shield up, we go into cover, heal the head, and then heal the actual damage. Is it? It seems as if two are respawning every single time. And we really should go for uh, the actual target now. Ah! 
Operative on the move. Good. Moves up. Activate the object. Fantastic. Barbour. This guy has heavy, heavy armor. I don't like it. But he's almost down. Good. Nick, on the other hand. Can't really jump somewhere exciting. So I have to wonder. Could we position in a better way? Um, need to pick up this thing. Don't want to leave it behind. So we're using the opportunity when no one needs like urgent medical care. We're essentially moving in. Good, we're stealing actions from both of them. Sniper moves up further into the open. Not much that we can do or can hit. There. Very explosive tree, <laughs> apparently. Wow. Speaking about realistic physics, right? I wonder what would be a good place for him to stay. Um, I mean, you could make an argument. For actually staying up here. then essentially overwatching all of this not the worst idea not great either but certainly not bad we can move to here then around the corner and get the guy completely with his pens pens caught down. Unfortunately not fast enough oh, that's annoying because we don't we don't have we unfortunately don't have the ability to frenzy but if he comes around the corner that'll be his demise the 
results have returned fire. I don't particularly feel like testing that out. So instead full cover and overwatch. And Barbor has no one action ability that would be helpful here. Good hit. Very good hit. I'm hurt too bad here. Too good at this. Target needs. Ooh. Like that. My turn. Okay, well, great hit. Barbor moves up. Continues to hit and kill. Nick would actually be needed on the other side. Ready. Enchanto moves forward in a bleeding fashion. Just doesn't give a damn. Repositioning. Hope this works. Moving. Good. We're positioning very well. These two are dead. turret very good and whilst we're at it uh, I think move closer to the midfield here I have currently no snipers so might as well just take the open route Very nice shot and even a kill. Free Overwatch. Great. More war crying because it's helpful. But at the same time, I very much appreciate that we are needed somewhere else. fully reach him. We're rushing over mainly to get will points automatically recharged. Let's go. Full cover. Because he will likely use pistol shots. And Greta. Greta moves up and overwatches. End of turn. Ah, the boxes are unfortunately in the way. I see them. Try again. Okay, well, 
ready to rock. Look at that, who just showed up to party? Switch. Some return fire, but we do have regeneration, so we should be fine. Yes, engaging. Oh, full fledged destruction of the torso, free reload, and. On Yet another kill. Fantastic. Good. Out of curiosity, if we were... Oh, we can't yet do that. No, we can do that, but we're too low on will points. Okay, I see how it is. Recover. I can make a difference. Let's go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where is that extra sniper? Oh, coming in from there. Holy, that is unexpected. Vicento heals himself for slowly but surely moving to the exit. Not enough will points to completely get that sniper down. But that was a decent south right into him. is destroyed that's what I wanted to see and now we can run all he has is a pistol I need a moment maybe a grenade but that won't really make or break the whole situation up I'll be right there false fire moves and we have a nice little overwatch plant Nick is fast, so he's naturally staying a bit back. Rest does exactly what they're supposed to, which is boogie out.
There is no exit over here. Relocating. Babor just runs as far as uh, they can. Same over here. There is a noticeable difference between normal speed and just frenzied speed. Unfortunately, the weapon is still active. I see them. My turn. I see them. Right what did you just do to Very me? nice. Both arms disabled. Can't really do anything now. False fire. Gets this guy down. And then begins to move up. I think the overall mission was a bit more difficult than I would have expected it to be. I thought just bandits wouldn't really make such a big uh, mess, but I was wrong. Time for the push. Good. Halfway there. One or two more rounds. And all we need to do is not die at the moment. <clears throat> I like how the mission played out overall. Because we had that uh, very stable foundation over here. And then we like gradually started pushing in. I'm here. Let's roll. Eventually pushing, uh, pushing them completely out of... Uh, sniper, not good. Eventually pushing them completely out of uh, their location. Moving to coordinates. Something along the lines of smoke bombs would be fantastic. Succeed or die. I'll try and get there. Something that allows you to just block line of sight and rush out. I can make a difference. Okay, one more turn. I think the sniper does have no line of sight for us. Just rush us in and ends the turn. Which means Byzantium officially is done without losing anyone and with only moderate injuries, really. It was costing a lot of medkits, uh, though. Yeah, and Polina got a level up. Cool. So, overall, definitely a, uh, an interesting mission. Although, it gets repetitive that you're always stealing the research out of the exact same building. Um, and I think the difficulty here was just... Glad you understand enemies. the importance of fighting the Pandora virus with more than just guns. It may be ugly at times, but what's the point of morality? 
I hope you will continue working with New Jericho. Lots of tech, lots of material. Looks like you really are on our side. The Phoenix Project and New Jericho putting bullets in monsters together. Nice. But you know what's less nice? There are some folks here in New Jericho who, uh, well, how shall I put it? They have some minor ethical issues. And by minor, I mean absolutely goddamn massive. Like my old friend, Colonel Harrelson, who tried to convince me I was infected. Now, sure, maybe it's true that we need ruthless people like Harrelson who are willing to do anything to survive. But there are limits. And as far as I'm concerned, he's breached them over and over. And you know what? He's done it in secret. Tobias West has no idea about some of the shit this guy's pulled. I could just rat the old bastard out, of course, but like I said, maybe we do need him. We don't. Good. So we got Project Vulture. No idea what exactly that is, but it seems like another small mission. And maybe, just maybe, the team can enjoy another New Jericho mission. So apparently that's yet another storyline mission and I'm not saying no to any uh, great storylines as long as they are helpful for us. Good. Uh, two for ten. Seems decent enough for me. We don't need more food. Just getting to protect uh, the Fort Valkyrie over here. Some good trades in South America. And... Well, phew. I think Mexico needs uh, the next Diblot. We've produced so many of uh, these uh, mm, these biological vehicles. I've unfortunately forgotten where we should uh, where we put each of them. But I think it's fine for now. Let's just get the purification grenades uh, done. They always are helpful. And our next job anyways is to defend New Jericho and very soon as you can see we are getting new research labs just to get uh, a faster uh, research overall. Good, so we're ready for the, uh, for the mission there. Just double checking is there anything else that Saiken definitely wants to try. I think the Destiny one looks like an interesting weapon. I have no idea if it will be good. So let's just do that and two energy packs. And yeah, other than that, I think we wanted to get snipers. But these cost 50 of each uh, of uh, the material, so it takes some more time. Let's see what else is up. Uh, we're going to go to that other storyline mission. There is yet another storyline mission here with Dr. Symes uh, and the other location of Dr. Symes. So it, it uh, feels to me that we're sort of making progress with the storyline missions but it's hard to tell when you play it for the first time I have absolutely no conception how far we are in the storyline given that the entire planet seems to be slowly but surely overgrown by that virus I, I would guess we are reasonably far and we have 12 bases so I mean I, I don't know uh, mm, that in itself should already be a good tell, uh, telltale Curious, by the way, if we were to activate that. Uh, 
with a little bit more materials we could do that and that would be a fantastic additional base one more research lab almost immediately yeah i think that's the right uh, the right way to go i think that's the right way to go in terms of bases We have everything covered. It's more a matter of just getting the uh, actual storyline missions now uh, gone uh, without stalling the game for too long. Uh, like we're still far, far above that 20% uh, demarcation line and I don't know how, how much more leeway we do have. Um, still people are dying at the moment. So I think it, it would be good if we're finding a solution. Our biggest problem is research. There's just so much here. Lots of projects. And that's a few days out. It's two, three, well, this project here, advanced rocket technology. Wow, this is taking long. I don't think that we're going to get a much better rocket launcher than the one that we already have, unless I'm, no, I, I, I might be wrong, but uh, the, the one from the ancients without any ammunition requirement seems pretty dope to me. Yeah, it doesn't even give a flat out damage to grenades. Anyways, so this stuff here alone takes already half a week and I know how much will happen in half a week. So we're up uh, for at least 10 more missions, I would say, uh, be before I'm uh, through the whole research. And I have no idea what is going to come afterwards. It seems that, uh, mm, uh, that there is a lot of additional research that's being triggered. Yeah, we'll figure it out uh, as we go, guys. Now it's ready. Uh, we're ready for a defense. If you want to defend the honor of this channel, uh, build a little uh, barricade around the like button uh, so that no one else other than you can click it. Uh, that would be great. And see you in today's. Bye-bye.